For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. <laughs> Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi, and today I'm going to cover installing headlights on my 2009 Dodge truck. Stick around to the end of the video so you can enter a contest to win a Mega Pro screwdriver. Not just a regular one, a Paul's Toolbox Special Edition one that Mega Pro's making for me. You'll have a chance to win one of these and a $50 gift card if you're the first place winner. Second, third, fourth, and fifth place winners will win a screwdriver, Paul's Toolbox Edition. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because it's a very easy contest, but somebody has to win and pick the right number. I'm going to use this. This works well. This is a Stanley Cat Paw. So if you don't want to get specific tools for this, you can, you can make this work. You're going to have little buttons right here. You're going to pop these up. Okay, these are push pins. You have one, two, three, four, five of these little pins. And you're going to pull this up, get it out the way, and we can get right to the bolts. I don't like to take and pull it from the top. You can, but you could possibly gouge these. So what I'll do is I'll get underneath it and pull it. That way, when I pull this up, it, wa it takes the whole area and it won't damage it. Then it also stays in place and I don't have to worry about losing these. Okay, so we're going to take this one, be very careful. Once you release it, it comes right up. I don't want to scratch my paint. You can always put a little rag underneath there. And we have this one. Doesn't take a lot of pressure to pull them up. So don't worry. Some of them may be stubborn if they're old. And they'll even break sometimes on the back if they're really old and they're stuck in there. You can buy these in the help section at your automotive shop. They have little, little packets of different size ones. So, so you take it up as one piece. That way all my buttons are staying in place and I can put this on the side. We're going to have these two bolts right here. I have one right here, 10 millimeter, and one over here on the end. Back that puppy out. Here's my next one holding my grill in. The coarse thread screw will go right onto the plastic pieces. That way it bites. The fine thread screw is made to go onto the frame that's steel. Okay, make sure you pay attention to that so you don't put the wrong screws back. They're just holding the brackets in right here. And over here, same spots. Now you see how this is loose? This is where you have to be careful. Do not try to pull it any kind of way from up top because you will break the tabs down at the bottom. That's what's holding it in. There's a little quick snap tab on this side and on the other side. But you do not want to take it and push it over here. You want to get your arm in right at the end, close to the side of this. And you're going to push it from underneath. Sometimes they're a little stubborn if they've been in there a while. But just get your hand way down in there. You see that right there? That's the tab that it bites on. It has a little hook and it goes right into the top. Not this part, on the top. So when you push it, it just snaps it right out. Once this is released, I'm going to swing it open like a door and pull this side and it's going to pop right out. There you go. Just that easy. And you see the little hooks? That little hook right there grabs the slot that I was talking about. You're going to have a screw right here and here. 10 millimeter bolts, same here, the two face ones. We're going to take those off real quick. On some models, you have to worry about this spinning the bottom because that's an adjustment, but on this one it's not. I'm just going to take this screw right out. It's mounted securely on there, and we'll take this one out. One more thing I want to touch on. When I talked about the adjustment on this. Some trucks are different than others. This one happens to be up high. Some of the other Dodges are down below. This right here takes a T20 star bit if you're try trying to adjust your original ones. A T20 is a star bit just like this. It will go in a slot right here and then you make your adjustments. Of course, it's a lot easier with your factory ones because they're, you face a wall on a level ground put your lights on and you make your adjustments. On these spider lights, I'm gonna have to let them sit in place, shine my lights on the wall, and I'll, I'll look at them and see if I have to go up or down, then pull them out and make my adjustments. 
a little bit more of a pain. That's why I don't usually bother with them if they look good. I'll shine it on the wall, and if they're just a little off from each other, I'll leave them if they're mine. Now, if, I'm, if I was doing it for a customer, of course, I have to make sure it's perfect. But as long as you're not shining up in somebody's windshield or shining down or off, if they're pretty level with your truck, you're good. Get that out the way. Now, I'm going to use my extension on my Mega Pro screwdriver. And we will get this puppy off. All right. Remember when I mentioned the trap door? We have it right here. I'm just going to pop it loose. And it has one of these uh, plastic pins, push pins. We'll, not, we'll pull that out. I'll drop the, the door and I can feel where it is. It's going to be right here. Now I can get my arm in there and feel for it. I got it. Once you get it, there's a tab. You push that tab up. Don't pull it down. That locks it. And I'll show you that as well. So I pushed it up. It released it. And now we're going to pull this headlight out. You've got to push it. Get my hand back there. There you go. I've had them to where they're kind of stubborn because the little thing snaps in this hole. This is the tab. I went right through that trap door and I pushed that tab up. You see when you pull it down, it locks. You push it up and it releases. That's what we were doing. This has to snap out of that hole. And it has a little piece on here. And you'll see. See that little ball? Ball joint right there? That snaps into that hole. So that's got to be snapped out. I took the tire off so you could see it. This is the trap door. You'll take this tool or the other tool that I was showing you. I found my trim tool. And you'll just push this underneath. And pull the whole button out. It'll pop right out. Once you get this out, you can push this trap door up. Back here is that clip. I'm going to put a light on there so you can see it. Okay. And you reach straight in. Push it up. That's that little plastic tab. It goes straight up. You see the trap door right here? I pull that. There's my hand. I'll feel to the outside all the way over. That way I know exactly where it is. If you always feel from the fender over, you'll find it quick. If you start grabbing the light, you'll, you won't. But if you feel from the fender over, catch the edge and follow it down, you'll feel this little tab. Okay, now that we have that, we just have to disconnect these lights. All I do is turn it, pull it out. Do not touch that bulb because the oil on your fingers will get on there. It'll get hot and it'll blow. Of course, I'm not going to need that one, but you don't want to ruin it. So, I have those two loose. And you have these little rubber tabs that snap in there. That locks it into place to keep your harness out of the way. I will take this bulb out. Now you can touch this bulb, it's different. The other clip is going to snap into that and you'll see in a few minutes. I'm going to get this with a rag and pull it out to make sure I don't mess it up. You don't want to touch the bulb. The two pieces of my harness are going to plug right into these and that's it. If you look at the back of this, it tells you what bulb goes in which slot. They do not give you this bulb right here, which is an HB3. I went down to my local AutoZone. It's a 9005 Sylvania that it matches with. That's a cross reference. You just plug it in, and it goes in one way. That's it. All right, so we're going to take this, slide it down, and lock it in place. Um, wish they would have told you that it didn't come with this bulb. I didn't see it anywhere, but a 9005 Sylvania matches this. The other bulbs are in place. All I have to do is go plug it in. If you look at the back of this, you will see these little adjustments. That's to adjust your lights. They always recommend, or they highly recommend, that you have these professionally installed. Um, I'm showing you how you can do it yourself. I'm going to plug this right back in where the other bulb came out. That's for my LEDs. Turns. 
and then this one will lock right into here. When you push this back, that should release. If it doesn't, don't force it. That's what messes these things up. A lot of times the plastic sticks, okay? So you have to take this and you push this tab up. You see how it released? Because it's old. Now, it'll slide right out. All I did was take this and push it up a little bit, okay? And if it doesn't lock and you can't get it to lock when you push it in, sometimes you can push that tab down. If not, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that later. But on here, you want to put this grease, this dielectric grease on there. Put it on your fittings before you put this together. That ensures that this won't stick. I'll put a little bit on the edges all around, just a little bit. That way, this doesn't dry up in there and corrode. And you put it on your little electronic components, the little connections. This will snap in and stay lubricated and it won't corrode because that sometimes causes it to stick and you can't pull it out. And if you have the bare bulb in there, the ones that snap in, you want to lube it because a lot of times you'll pull it apart and the bulb sticks in there. Part The base will stay in and this part won't. Great stuff. This is made by Permatex. I will have a link in the description box for this. Before you put them in, you want to inspect them. And I can see this one's broken. See how it just dangles right there? That means it's not locking when I push it in. So if I shove this in here and it doesn't lock, I can still push that pin, but you see that piece moves. I can pull it out. So I'll take another scrap piece of glove. I'll tuck it all the way back here. And then when I slip it on, it's going to bind in there really tight and that's not going to move. If you want, you can wrap it up with some tape after that, but this is going to hold. I've never had one come loose. <clears throat> Not saying it can't, but it's an easy fix. I'm just going to take it like this. Make sure I get it tight on there. Shove it all the way in. Now, it's in there. I don't have to worry about this loosening up. All right, now I want to put lube on this because we want this to release every time I pull my light out. And this grease will not hurt it, okay? This part right here is sealed. That's the other light that came with it. You just have to make sure that the boot is on there completely locked all the way. So we'll put the light in now. Keep these wires out of the way. You do not want to pinch your wires when you're doing this. If you have to, tape them. I sometimes tape them against the back of the light. That way it doesn't go anywhere. And I'll line it up to the hole. Push it in. I'm going right back to the same lever. And I'll pull it down. Now that's locked. Push this back up and then I'll put my push button in. And I don't take my tire off, I usually just turn it out. I'll turn the light on and see what I have right there. My brights are working, everything's good. I'll put it on one side, push it till it locks. And then all I have to do is take this side, and you see that, that tab is going to go right on top of that. You push it back and it's just going to snap in. Just like that. My coarse thread ones go into the plastic right here. And on the other side. So I'll just switch over this side. Same thing, I'll start them. The fine thread ones will go right into the top here on the frame. You start them off a little bit. Make sure you don't cross thread them. This ratcheting screwdriver by Mega Pro makes it so easy anyway. So I'll just take this and
Remember when I said I leave these in? This is exactly why. All I have to do is set it back in place and push my pins exactly where they're supposed to, where they came out. All she wrote. You see how easy that was? This didn't take any time at all. Dodge makes it easy to replace them, I have to say that. But these lights fit right in, just like a glove. I don't work for Spider. I have nothing to do with them, so I can't vouch for them. I will tell you that I like these lights, and I like the ones that I put on my other truck. I bought them from Realtruck.com. If these hold up like my other ones, I'm going to be super pleased. We're going to challenge you to tell me how long it takes for me to get this light out of this truck. I'm only going to use my Mega Pro screwdriver, a little trim tool, and two extensions. Of course, with a nut driver, it's a 10 millimeter nut driver that goes on this. I'm going to use this to take everything off, hit the timer. You guys are going to tell me how long it took exactly to get this thing off and everything together, or to get it all off. <laughs> 